Hey folks, uh, Vic here with your weekly trade video and this past week I posted a guide for our members on how to create a Forex trading plan and the major things to consider. So, And I thought this would be a good one to share publicly since not having a trading plan is a sure pathway to disappointment. And actually I created a sample plan for our members uh, showing what the details of the plan should look like. I just know that this video can only be helpful since most traders don't actually have a trading plan. So if you think so as well, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm rank the video higher and gets it out to more viewers who are interested in this topic. And I truly believe it'll help them. And of course, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the, subs the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the video. Alrighty then, let's take a look at creating a Forex trading plan. Okay, so let's talk about your trading plan uh, and how to create one uh, in a step-by-step -step way. These are the, the key elements. And I'll tell you this right off the bat. It, it is not an option to have a trading plan or not. On, honestly, if you don't have a trading plan, you are so unlikely to make money on a consistent basis, right? And, and you have to realize that. I'm, my job is to help our traders achieve some consistent profitability to approach being a stage four trader. It's what Darko does as well with their, our swing trading service, our longer term trading. So um, we're, this is all we do is we, we help people do this. And everything starts with having a plan and a written down plan, right? You have to have it written down. So I'm going to provide you with some, uh, some considerations, some components, uh, key elements, that kind of thing with putting together a solid trading plan. And, um, you know, so that you'll have a, a, a disciplined uh, and focused approach to your trading. And I really, really hope that you find this use to, useful, okay? So, um, and this is all based on the material that we teach in our, in our uh, Coach's Corner services, all right? So, and we have, um, you know, um, uh, information, tutorials, and etc. exactly how we do things. So, let's get into it here. Uh, let me just get the next slide out here and have a look and see what it says. These are going to be the critical components that you need to uh, figure out before you are able to you know trade on a, any kind of a consistent basis first of all your trading style what is your trading style okay um, in my service I teach short-term trading uh, Darko teaches longer term swing trading and, and uh, position trading it's important that you figure that out because then you by knowing your trading style you know the correct time frame combinations to to use and your trading style is going to be dictated a lot by your lifestyle and, and what, what's going on with your life and that kind of thing. So, um, for our for our, uh, I can talk about our short term trading. We use a daily four hour and fifth, you know, daily and four hour for our higher time frames and a fifteen minute for entry because we always analyze things from the top down. Now, by knowing the trading style, then you can also know which support resistance levels are relevant for your style. And like I just said. For, for scalping, it's going to be, um, you know, we'll reference the daily and the four hour charts and we use a 15 minute, uh, um, 15 minute chart for entry. Okay. Now we get into the, the trigger for a trade. What's going to make you take a trade? Okay. Do you, you know, you have to have a, a, a way to say, okay, we're at a level of say support. What's going to make me get in that trade. And what we do is we have three distinct patterns and these patterns need to appear at one of our key levels in order for us to take a trade. So that's something for you to consider. What are you going to do? How many currency pairs are you, by the way, let me just back up to this, um, to these patterns for one minute. Uh, one thing that's really important is figure out which pattern you see really easily. You may not see a certain pattern easily. Pick the one that you see easiest, trade that. Um, you only need to trade one thing to do well with trading. How many currency pairs and what are they? You know, um, you have to uh, uh, be aware of your own limitations. Uh, how much can you handle? What's your experience level? Because, you know, if you're just starting this and you're trying to cover 27 different pairs on three different patterns, you're not going to make it. Okay, you're, you're going to have big, big problems. So get clear on how many currency pairs you're going to trade and what they are. Okay, really, really important uh, to do to know that as well. Next is how are you going to enter a trade? Okay, I mean, there are different ways to get into trades. Now, we use limit orders to enter our trades. We know in advance where we want to trade at. But maybe you want to use a Fibonacci level to get, um, to get 
your to enter a trade um, maybe you want to use the exact um, significant neckline or support resistance level to get in there's different ways and we, we show the different ways in our service where is your stop going to be you know it's amazing to me uh, how many traders still trade without even using the stop or they kind of leave it and see what happens kind of a thing <laughs> you you're not going to last long doing that because it's going to take one bad event to wipe everything out okay uh, we use in our scalping service we use a volatility stop based on the five-day average daily range or average true range um, and because as those volatilities change we want to you know widen our stop if the volatilities increase or decrease our stop in I'm talking about the amount of pips that we risk uh, if the volatility decreases okay you may want to use what's called a natural stop um, and that's also um, explained in our service I won't go into it all here okay now trade management this is the holy grail of trading okay trade management is can be the sole difference in becoming a profitable trader or not okay it's really really important if you want to become a stage four trader consistently profitable you need to be really good at trade management what are you going to do if price goes in your favor what are you going to do if price goes against you so if it moves in your favor how many is there, is there going to be a certain amount of pips that you're profitable before you take the risk out of the trade you move your stop to your entry level or what's it going to be there, there's so many different ways to manage a trade and it's not that there's a right or wrong um, because everybody has different risk tolerances and that kind of thing but you can uh, you, there's all sorts of ways to do it if you're trading uh, you know uh, multiple lots like say you're trading two lots um, you could you could um, uh, take profit on a partial profit on half your position and, and move your stop so you can't lose money and, and then go for a much bigger target on your second half of your position there's all sorts of things okay that you can do um, so I won't get into all of that because it can th there's lots of different combinations and I, I cover them in more detail but in our service but um, you know I, I just want you to be aware that that um, you need to figure out what works for you what you're comfortable with because you know if you get up you know 10 pips on a trade and you get all panicky and, and take your trade off you're gonna have problems doing that okay you need to be uh, you need to have a more solid game plan than that and uh, that gets that gets into psychological factors as well what about your ultimate profit target if price moves in your favor okay what are you going to um, where, where, where are you eventually going to take that trade off for your for your full profit right is it going to be an opposing uh, level on a four hour or daily chart is it going to be a Fibonacci extension of some kind or an external retracement uh, what if you're trading with the trend and what if you're trading counter trend is that going to change change the way things are okay what happens if price moves against you you get into a trade and price moves against you this is all part of your plan ahead of time so you're not panicked because it's going to happen it's going to happen sometimes um, price might just chop up and down against you for a long time how long will you let it go before you just maybe say this isn't working for me I'm going to take the trade off right what if it starts to close against your position without stopping you out are you going to is there going to be a trigger there that gets you out of your trade and again I have you know suggestions and protocols for our members that, that we that we suggest and uh, because you have to have something in place that that um, that you can use reliably are you going to trade trend only or will you take counter trend trades that's something to think about and you know we there's again there's no right or right or wrong answer on this um, um, I think for the most part we tend to trade both trend and counter trend I certainly trade trend and counter trend um, if I have valid setups but you may not want to and and we have our way of identifying trend we use uh, what Darko introduced to our members back in 2017 called advanced market flow it works really really well for identifying trend we don't use any indicators at all on our charts nothing okay now here's a big one too what about your account risk how much of your account will you risk I've seen people risk five and ten percent of their account on a trade that is just a recipe for disaster folks you got to keep risk super super small um, you know there's a there's a misconception that if you don't have enough uh, risk on you're not going to make any money and all that listen um, you'll ruin your account if you if you take on too much risk and you're going to probably roll your eyes at this but we recommend no more than 0.5 percent risk of your account on a trade you can still do very well you can certainly beat 
what you can get at the bank, that's for sure. Okay, just important to know what, what you're going to do. So based on that, a risk and how many pips you're risking, how many lots can you trade? Um, something I'll tell you about about that is that when our traders are starting out, I always tell them just trade two micro lots, right? Forget about I don't care if you've got you know fifty thousand dollars in your account. Trade two micro lots. It's not about the money. It's about you proving to yourself that you can be a consistently profitable, disciplined, focused trader. If you can't do it with two micro lots, <laughs> you're sure not going to do it by you know betting the farm. I can tell you that right now. What about uh, other things like red flag news? Uh, these are major news releases that come out. Um, do you have rules about trading around those? We sure do. Okay, they're very important to know about that. What about is there times of the day when you should not trade? Um, rollover is one in particular where the spreads can widen a lot. Very dangerous time you can get stopped out without even just because of the spread widening. Okay, really important to know. And then there's psychological considerations uh, that should all be you know, kind of uh, figured into your plans. The thing is, is this with, with trading is that ultimately, like once you learn a, a system and you learn the approach and you learn the patterns and all the technicals about it, trading comes down to psychology. It's it's 100% psychological after that. Okay, so, um, you know, you don't want to get into thing like, things like revenge trading because you lost on the last trade and now you have to make that back and you have to be focused, disciplined and wait and, you know, be very, very patient and waiting for your setup to, uh, show up again and um, and take it from there okay I can tell you this um, most traders and I mean like 95% of all traders out there do not follow a trading plan consistently I know that because I've been doing this for a long time I've trained uh, thousands of traders and um, most of them don't have a trading plan if I said to them hey send me your trading plan they wouldn't be able to because they don't have it written out okay um, so uh, it, you you just want to have a very nice simple like when you get all of these this must, looks like a lot of stuff here but it's not really once you get it uh, you know you answer all these questions to yourself it can be pretty simple um, and uh, and it makes it much much uh, it, it just makes your 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 whole job a lot easier right it should be very easy to follow but it's not easy to follow and that's because of a multitude of psychological factors and it's it, it's stuff to, you know it, it, it's tough to stick to a plan Maybe you see other people making money and you're not doing something else. So you start to wander off of your uh, approach that you agreed to yourself that you would stay with and you don't um, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, what you want to do is is just be very vigilant in staying with your plan. Never mind what the guys on YouTube say about how they made 500 pips this week and make their living trade. It's, it's just I'm telling you, there's so much misinformation out there. It's crazy. But stick to your plan. Um, I, I tell you this, if you have a plan, every every uh, trading approach is going to have times where it slows down and you don't get as many setups as you like. They go in waves. All of a sudden, like last week I did a video on pin bar reversals, right? I hope you go and watch that. Um, in fact, I'll show you an example of one here in just a minute uh, that happened just today. Pin bar reversals are a really good way to trade. Well, you know what? It's possible that you can start all of a sudden they don't show up for a while, maybe one or two weeks. That's kind of rare, but it could happen, depending on how many currency pairs you're looking at as well. But you have to have the discipline to wait, right? And it's not easy to do. You know, you might start thinking, oh, somebody else just made money doing, you know, swing breaks or some other thing. Don't fall into the trap. If you just got a couple of good trades a month and you were profitable, that's a heck of a lot easier than trading 20 or 30, you know, taking 20 or 30 trades and losing money. Go for quality, not quantity, okay? So um, anyway, I hope that that gets you thinking about uh, your, your your trading plan, objectifying your approach and all that kind of thing. Let me just show you, uh, I'm going to show you one little example here of a trade. Uh, let me just bring this up. This was today on the Swiss yen pair. Let's just back this up for a scalp. We can see that we're at daily. Uh, this is a good level here. And here's the thing, we don't know what price is going to do when it hits one of these levels. And I, and I'm not, I won't get into how I drew this line here. This is what we call a significant neckline. And we just want to know what does price do when it gets there? Because price will tell you. We don't have to guess. Hey, is this going to be a good level or not? I don't know. Look at this. This is a pin bar reversal right here. This is the prior date. This is August 17th. So the 18th, we're thinking, hmm, we should be looking at maybe a sell here. 
okay because this is a bearish pin bar reversal 382 pin bar reversal very very bearish i'll just go right down to our entry time frame and there were several ways to get into this trade but this whole thing right here is what we call a swing break and rotation it's one of our patterns it's a really good one because it really uh confirms a um a breakdown in the um, in the market structure and this was the cell right here this is this daily level um exactly right here if you're using these daily levels to trade off of which is a, a very good way to do it this made a really really nice move down um you know over three to one and the thing is now we have some uh, pretty big red flag news coming out uh, fomc minutes are going to be read pretty soon and and so on but that just gives you an idea of the kind of things that you you know how you how you want to have your plan laid out ahead of time if that was the pattern you're looking for there it is and that's your trade that's a great trade you know so what, what's the what's the panic about getting uh, tons of trades all the time all right so hope that helps and i'll leave it at that thanks so listen i know that if you'll take the time to go through these trading plan components and you answer them all honestly and set up a plan that suits you the best that you're going to be infinitely better off than almost every trader out there because most traders just don't have a trading plan okay now beyond having a trading plan in our services like in darko's swing trading and my scalping service we have a new member quick start guide which is a series of videos that go over all the things that we look for that combine to tip the odds in our favor and the quick start guide is designed to help you get up to speed uh, as fast as possible so if you're still struggling and you're not where you want to be you know we'd love to have you with us and, and work with you to get you moving in a positive direction okay you'll find our community of traders um, you know very friendly welcoming totally non-intimidating so if it's in the cards for you to join there's a link to our services in the text below this video or in the email that you received thanks so much everyone hope you guys all have a great weekend